Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly tarot reading session for you Libra. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you, okay? What can I get for Libra, please? What is the weekly intuitive message, love message for the Libra friends out there, okay? Before I start, Libra, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because in there, you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store. Check out my website. Um... There is a three. There's there's three new products that um we have uploaded. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free tarot reading session for me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you with your free private reading. And also Libra, we have created already the playlist, the summary of all of the links, the video, the YouTube video that um we have created uploaded for your signs so if you would like to further pick up more intuitive message go to the description box below it says there feb 2021 li links copy paste that put it on your browser and you will see the summary of all the videos available for you for the month for the month of 2021 sorry it's um mercury retrograde i recommend you to watch the full month and the mid month because it contains love message and general situationship tarot reading or message okay in today's reading libra all right let me just breathe um in today's reading libra i'm gonna be looking at the past energy past situation and then i'm gonna be looking at the blockages and i'm gonna be looking at the current energy your energy your person's energy the connecting energy between the two of you then i'm gonna move along with the future of this connection okay the predictive outcome and advice depending on the message that i will pick up for today i will let you know if there is a need to extend the reading and without further further ado let's start your reading libra the first card in the past position is you've got the queen of swords in reverse and the ace of cups okay you have connected someone in the past um queen of swords ace of cups it's possible, Libra, that... Um, let me just open the light. Okay, so let me just turn this on. Okay, sorry about that. One more. Okay, that is much better. Um, okay, so Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups next to the Queen of Swords. Um, it's possible... The past energy, um, it is possible that you have... Um, you, you were in a relationship with a third party or you were in connection or in a relationship with someone who um, who is not really available, but they made you feel like they are available, okay? I really feel like this person insisted or they make you feel like they want a love moment and an ace of cup, but they didn't proceed. Um, or something was incorrectly set up between the two of you. I also feel like, you had a romantic connection, but it was quite short or they quit. Someone quit. Um, it could be a third party. You had a you had an ace of cup moment with someone, but they quit. They disappear. It's possible that at the beginning and then the mid part, you had an incompatibility. Uh, there was a fight or a misunderstanding that happened. And then the ace of cups, the connection was interrupted um but one thing is for sure the characteristic of the love energy that your person is offering is they were really good it was for some of you i'm really getting that it was selfish it was selfish because they were exiting a relationship or they were still in a relationship but they were in love with you it's a feeling where they were so excited to offer you the ace of cups they were they really want you even though it's wrong or even though it is quite fast, they did it anyway. Um, there was a taking a risk attached in the energy of the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Um, but looking at it, there was love. There was definitely an emotional happiness and an emotional connection that you undeniably, you enjoyed it. You know, this Ace of Cups, even though it's short term, even though 
they checked out early or they ghosted you or it was interrupted or it, even though there was a third party but you enjoyed every moment of this ace of cups in short the queen of swords ace of cups there was something wrong in the setup it was short-lived but you enjoyed it it was um you enjoyed it let me just fix something give me a second libra and um yeah there was something juicy in spite of everything there was something juicy uh, the queen of swords the queen of swords um if i will connect this to a person it is a bitch card so it's possible that one of you is acting jealous impulsive or immature that's why it has interrupted the ace of cups it's possible that the third party find out and it has interrupted the romance the connection or one of you has displayed an attitude of um selfish um one-way relationship or a person who would like to control and would like to level it up uh someone who's a bit controlling or possessive or this is a low vibe energy this low vibe energy or attitude playing hard to get or ego or selfishness this has interrupted the romance there was something great or juicy about your romance it got interrupted or it could be the it could be the the original owner or the third party interrupted it and then you've got yeah there was a secret secret unfold you know um the high priestess in reverse the ten of wands there was love but it's complicated because of a third party or there was an attitude of you or them that came out that made it difficult and you know given that the ten of wands and the high priestess in here it's kind of obvious that there's something wrong or there was a third party but yet your person is still willing to proceed there's still work your person is still willing to the feelings they have for you the feelings they have for you it's strong they're willing to ten of wands to put more even though it's complicated even though you are or they are or the situation is complex or difficult they still for some of you tried they still would like to try and um ten of wands it's difficult it's complicated that it's possible that they give up okay because ten of wands this is the maximum you could get there's no 11 of wands so the the driving force for your person to stay is the ten of cups it's complicated but because of love i will stay it's complicated there is a third party but i want to fix it because i like you i love you i miss you i will stay but there's a limit because there's no 11 of wands so you, your person did everything for some of you guys you you and your person did everything to fight it off but the imbalance between you and them it is quite strong because you know the, the high priest is in reverse the imbalance the difficulty the complexity it's quite obvious this ten of wands you and them you keep going ten of wands you keep going because of the ace of cups because of the love the feeling but the ten of wands overthrow or overpower the ace of cups it's only one you know and if you and and if you and your person you're the one supplying you know this emotion this emotion you know if you're no longer supplying and you're becoming individual then the point is ten of wands you'll definitely separate or disconnect or disengage because the last card is ten of wands there's no eleven of wands so it end up with a breakup a separate and separation or a lack of trust queen of sword a lack of effort you know a declining effort a declining passion a declining interest because in the beginning it was great it was wrong but love rules you know love rules yes it's wrong but love rules so you let love and they let love but then there's more to it that you uncover they uncover you fight it through they fight it through and then eventually one of you gave up didn't put an effort disengage break up or separate it because there's no 11 of wands in the current energy you've got the knight of swords and the the strength card you're still holding on you're i see you being upset or aggressive or there's still a part of you that would like to there's still a part of you that you would like to, in the current energy you're still fighting for some of you you're still in argument in the current energy for some of you you are aggressive to turn these things 
to turn your connection into something new. There is an aggressiveness coming from your energy. Strength card. For some of you, Libra, I'm getting like in the current energy, you're putting your strength into fighting. Because the strength card. Um, you have a strength. You have, it's more of, you have a strength. But you're using your strength not to compromise, but to to fight. You know, to to trigger an action to fight and then maybe you would get them to admit their feelings to you something like that you are triggering an aggressive action towards your person there's still a strong interest in you in the current energy libra don't deny it you know you're you're putting your strength in your manifest manifestation to be aggressive to talk you're wanting things to to fast forward that if we fight, I'll trigger your feelings, I'll trigger your emotions, and then I will get a response. I will get an answer. There's a bit of aggressive in you. Aggressive taking a risk. Like, I will lose you anyway. It got worse. I will lose you anyway. So let's fight. Come on, let's fight. I'm getting that from your side. If that's not the case, if you have, if this is a residual energy from the past, this strength card, it is reminding you, Libra, don't put your strength or your energy into fighting put your energy um into compromise because the strength card this is patience okay or this is an energy of you're still wanting to kill to remove the monster between the two of you so you have identified the problem the monster okay so why are you aggressive to remove the monster if you are aggressive with removing the lion it's going to bite you. But if you are like this person, patient, because you've got strength, you've got stamina. So if you've got strength and stamina and energy and you're willing to wait, you're willing to fix it, why not use that to compromise, not to fight? It's Your method is quite aggressive. If you want to compromise, then you should not be aggressive in it. You know, you cannot, in here, you need to tame the beast. You know, the lion, you need to tame the beast. You cannot fight the beast. The beast will give you two times of their power. Like a lion, try to intimidate the lion and they'll growl. You fight it again, they will growl. You give them food, you know, and they'll shut their mouth and be busy with the food. So something of that strategy that you need to, to do or to divert, you know, in the current one. If you like, if you love this person, aim for a compromise because they'll steer around you know five of wands two of swords this person is scared to approach you because you are going to be aggressive you're a queen of swords the knight of swords one thing is for sure they have a choice they won't they won't step in they won't come forward if you're aggressive if you're confronting if you're judging if you're very in investigative they need to be inspired to approach you they need to feel friendliness and openness from you they need the loving energy the ace of cups to feel to be back to go back to call you back to text you back they need an inspiration okay um because the only way you could fix it is to talk but if your person is avoiding you is aloof with you because your approach is aggressive confrontational then their choice is to of swords no way i'll stay here hidden they want to come forward. They want to come forward, but not in an aggressive way. If you approach aggressive, they want to come, come forward. For some of you currently, if you approach this person and not talk about love, not talk about you, talk about something casual to break the ice, this person will forget about the indifference and the complexity of you and them. And they might start approaching you as friends. I see that strategy, you know. They don't respond on confronting them with uh, what they did to you about love or about love and romantic. They won't respond into that. But if you ask something about casual to break the ice, they will respond. It seems to be this person is not ready to compromise, but they want to be friends with you. They want to be okay with you. They want you and their energy to complement, to be friends, to be casual first before they talk about love, before they talk about the last topic, the last miscommunication, to talk about you and them. In the predictive outcome and advice, there is hope. You know, there is hope, but you've got to wait. 
there is hope you've got to wait for the process there is hope there's there is hope but you've got to wait there is delay but there's hope um your person's energy Ooh, look at that the king of cups the seven of pentacles let me get one more card what's in between now and then okay one more card please yeah they are scared to approach because in the immediate future predictive outcome and advice i see you manifesting them i see your willingness to wait i see your willingness to try but make sure that your approach is not aggressive make sure that your approach is friendly you know it's like setting a trap you don't put the trap as a trap you know set a trap for example it's it's like you know example is that for ex i'll give you an example okay they said that uh, the way to a man's heart is to their stomach. So instead of nagging, sweet talking, cook food, they will love you. So your approach to this person, it should be friendly. It should be casual. It should be something unique that they will pay attention with you. Because if you nag, if you talk about them and you and romantic, they won't respond. Do a different style, something casual, romantic then they'll eventually um, open up. Also, if you're aggressive, this person is scared to approach. Because King of Cups, in the, if, in the immediate future, if you keep insisting to talk about love, romantic, their fault, you know, like what I'm saying in here is that who would approach if you're just going to criticize me? If you're going to call me and text me to blame me, I won't talk to you. If you're going to call me and text me, if you're going to say hi to me, and then after that, after one, two minutes, you're going to blame me with my fault, with my i wouldn't talk to you who would talk to you if you're just gonna criticize or open the negative stuff i did i would like to talk to someone who would look at me as as a person who made mistake and as a person that you know would be feel wel welcome and understood okay your person would like to be understood not to be criticized that's why that's why this person they won't be responsive if you're criticizing if you're if you're messaging and you're criticizing, you know, they need to feel welcome, not at once. So that's the challenge. I still see them being around. The fact that this person is scared is because they've got, they still feel something with you, but they're not encouraged to come forward because of an aggressiveness, because of something unfriendly approach. So change the strategy. There is hope. There is hope with your Ace of Cups. Okay. There is hope with your ace of cups i'm still i'm seeing this a nine weeks you know a nine to ten weeks um energy of them still interested but scared to approach um by the end of april if you don't hear from this person it's time to manifest someone new or if they don't come forward come forward after an attempt for some of you i see you guys having us still having communication but they're avoiding a specific topic so don't do that you will feel that they're not ready to talk about a topic. Don't do that. Talk about something different. They will warm up and they will open when they're ready. So remember that. There is a 9 to 10 weeks energy that they will be this way. Willing to connect but scared. They're not opening up if you're interrogating them. If you're blaming them. If you're highlighting the issues, their error. Talk about something else and they will be encouraged to stay. And then eventually I see them opening up. By the end of April, if it doesn't work, manifest someone new. Okay? So this is you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. It is a pleasure doing this reading to you guys. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.